I have sent you the PPT, but I will share with you as well. But what we are going to do today is to discuss about this. Okay. So let me share again uh, this topic. Okay. So this is the title. Yeah. Build up analysis, the introduction. Yeah. So. So, well, uh, last week we have talked about it. We have started talking about this, but today we will re-talk in a more formal way. <laughs> so, what is actually a film? Okay, what is film? How different is film from other literary texts like novels or, or drama or play? Yeah? yeah, can anyone respond to this question? Uh, may I try, Yeah, sure. So, yeah. Film or movie differs from other type of literature because yeah. it has more beyond the text, beyond the text, uh, like visual aspect, audio aspect, and okay. so on, which enhance the experience experienced by the viewers or the mm. or the audience. Yeah. So. So you emphasize on the visual language, yeah, Mas? Yeah. Yeah. So they will be more in to the story compared to the something like novel or some, something else with no actual visual or audio. Mm -hmm. So in your mind, because the language, uh, because film use more visual images, then will attract more audiences? Is that what you want to say? Partly yes, but it also let the give the actual image so the audience can you know get the, the more vivid image like when okay. you when you read something you probably cannot get yeah. some of the details. But so it provides with, more vivid images, yes? Yes. Yeah. But uh, is there any similarity as well at the same time as between novels or plays and films besides the difference like what you have uh, stated before? Yes, of course it has some similarities like, well, it has something to convey like mm -hmm. in text usually it has some sort of message. Yeah. And or, it's also or in other words, like what? Uh, stated here is the basic ingredient is the story, right? Yes. So every movie, uh, has a story. Uh, yeah, basic in ingredient is a story. Novel also the basic ingredient is story, but they are conveyed in different ways. Okay, so in uh, novels it's more on narration ways. On the 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 way is narrative. Okay, uh, written. Yeah. But in movies, uh, they use more moving images, yeah, like what you say. So the impact is also different. That's why uh, novels, uh, the, the same ingredient, yeah, with novel like Jin Air, okay, is also is uh, written in a novel first and then transformed into movies. It could attract more audiences with movies when it has transformed uh, into movies it uh, address more audiences it uh, you know it invite more audiences to enjoy the story yeah compared with the novel because of the like what you said the capability of the visual images to convey the story but my question to you must uh, uh, is there anything that movie can i mean uh, that a uh, novel can but movie cannot do or uh, in short what is the weakness of movie compared to film so if you do comparison yeah you say that movie can be more uh, attractive uh, compared to uh, novel but what about the weakness of movie if you compare to, well, probably uh, okay. I will take it from the viewer's imagination side. So mm -hmm. in 
novel or something with which is a text bound you mm-hmm. tend to imagine the scene imagine the, what actually mm-hmm. happened there mm-hmm. but in the movie it is all provided by the motion pictures right so it's like uh, <laughs> the context is taken for granted for the viewers yeah 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 that's why some people enjoy the novels more compared to the movies because when they enjoy the movies when they watch the movies there are something missing right because when he or she read the novel she could do their own she could uh, create their own imagination but when it is transformed into movie then that imagination has been digested or predigested by the you know the crew yeah like the director and also the actor and also the the uh, cinematographer so uh, what uh, i mean the freedom of imagine imagining is you know has been fulfilled by yeah all right mas okay so uh, here uh, it is stated that the process of filmmaking has developed into an art form and industry in the past movie is merely uh, only uh, uh, considered as an art form but then uh, later on it's gradually transformed into big or probably the biggest industry in you know in tax you know uh, development why why do you think it is why it becomes a big industry it could make lots 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 of money if you compare to you know novel production why movie production has uh, been a huge industry hello anyone me maybe sure Ma- maskanda yes mm. so for me it is because movie people could enjoy movie more than mm-hmm. they would enjoy a novel or a short story or something like mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. yes and and when they enjoy they pay lots of money yeah? yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah okay everyone enjoy movie yeah. but not everyone enjoy novel yeah so it's flexibility yeah mas yeah it's yeah. flexibility it's apalagi apanya yang membuat dia menjadi industri itu gitu. tadi flexibility ya yeah? what else maybe a preference towards some actor mm-hmm. so okay. if i like someone and he play on a movie and then i will watch all of his movie or her movie mm. okay yeah anything else yeah it becomes more commercial yeah compared to novels yeah mas yeah well novels some novels are also commercial but because it address mass audiences yeah mass audiences and because of the language of movie you know it's easier to understand by more people if you talk about novel then unless it is translated into those languages yeah it is difficult for people to enjoy but in movies although the language uh, is not changed yeah but because of the visual images visual images is more universal images it more it is easier to understand by more people yeah uh, 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 with, without having to understand the utterances of the uh, actors so that's why it addresses mass audiences and because of this huge audiences then uh, it is become becoming uh, you know it it's involving uh, uh, other you know uh, uh, parties and it be, it's becomes uh, industry okay now uh it is stated here that films are cultural artifacts created by specific culture which reflect those cultures and in turn affect them could you please uh, uh uh you know understand this sentence films reflects cultures yeah because 
uh, because it tells stories and stories is always you know integrated or inherent within cultures right yeah stories about love yeah uh, the uh, relationship between father and son for example it always involves the culture of the character in the movie yeah but why it is stated here in terms of fact them it reflects cultures and in them affect them what do you mean what does it mean by by this statement what does this statement mean anyone hello may i ma'am yeah sure um film as cultural artifact because um by making the film it is take from the real life or the real culture itself and like adopting them and then after the film was published like it is known for the whole world whole world like mm -hmm. people will understand and then appreciate those film and understanding the culture projected by the film so it is affected mm -hmm. the cult real culture itself however um I think from the films that originally taken from the real culture is mm -hmm. like have the similar like similar point that the culture itself it have so um, after it is taken from the real culture it is mm -hmm. projected to the people who watch the film so it mm -hmm. is affecting the viewers itself. Yeah in turn it affects them yeah so it is a reflection of particular culture particular way of thinking particular way of seeing things uh, and then in in turn yeah it will affect them especially if it is watched by people from other cultures suppose you watch a chinese movie right yeah it reflects chinese way of seeing things chinese uh, belief yeah Chinese way, way uh, Chinese habits, for example. When you watch this movie from other culture, this culture will in turn affect you as a watcher, and maybe you will be influenced by, yeah, by the films, yeah, or the way of uh, Chinese people see things. That's uh, the meaning of this statement. Thank you, Beth. Okay, well. Uh, many people watch the movie just for entertainment, right? We talked about this last week. But it is much more than that, right, Matt? Yeah. So here it is stated. A source of popular entertainment because it's easily assessed, yeah? And powerful method for educating. This is the second thing. Or indoctrinating citizen. Could you please, could you someone please explain or, uh, uh, you know, uh, give your opinion about this last statement and a powerful method for educating or indoctrinating citizen? Why it is powerful method of education first? Anyone? Hello. May I, ma'am? Sure. Uh, so I think could why... You, could you mention your name? Because I can see... Uh, my name is Yoga, ma'am. Yoga, yeah, please. Yoga. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I think why a movie is... Movie has a powerful method. Because, uh, first of all, uh, the, the, the visual is, is a is a you know universal language okay. and then not all people in the world has the capacity of reading books so uh, it is very powerful for mm -hmm. uh, for movies to educate some uh, people that can read mm -hmm. so yeah i think that's yeah. the reason yeah okay so because not many people is capable of 
reading novels ya yeah? yeah. or ha- having you know having good skills in reading novels do you think that reading novels is difficult compared to watching movie why why reading novel is much more challenging mas yoga uh, i think uh, why it is more challenging because mm-hmm. the the language that is used is you know like novel has a cer- a certain level of uh, difficulty in mm. in in language itself so mm-hmm. not all people will understand mm-hmm. uh, what is the meaning mm-hmm. that is in the in the text mm-hmm. so i think it's yeah it's ch- it's more challenging that yeah. than watching movie because the the difficulty in understanding the message and then right uh, yeah i think that's so visual images is more universal language of uh, conveying messages yeah mas yeah yes ma'am for education okay do you agree with the word indoctrinating citizens yoga i guess uh, yes ma'am <laughs> say your opinion indoctrinating citizens so there's a lot of movies genre like mm. for example like political yeah political movies and then mm. uh i believe that in political movies they uh, the the you know the crew insert uh like a particular message that mm. that they want to convey to mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. so mm. i think it helps them mm. to indoctrinate the citizens i yeah. don't know <laughs> You also have movies like uh, in Indonesia. You have some movies like uh, very political, like yeah, yeah, uh, uh, apa? Like like uh, the one that about uh, PKI yes. and then yes, 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 yes. yeah, yeah, that that that's the one. Yes, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, uh, Yoga Pangestu. Sure, ma'am. Okay. Any other people would like to comment on this? Besides entertaining, it's also a powerful method for education or indoctrination, actually. Yeah? Anyone would like to share his or her opinion? My name, ma'am? Yes, sure. Uh, as me? for the... Your name, please. I can't see. I can't see. Okay. Go ahead. As for the indo- yes, as for the indoctrinating... But I think it might refer to the character's motive or maybe personal opinion on things. Mm-hmm. And we can see the real example of some movies which cause some like some sort of behavior among the viewers, such as well, probably the recent one with with some significant impact is the Joker. Okay, like, we can see people. Yeah, yeah. We can see people yeah. trying to be like, yeah. following his dumb, I don't know ideology or something like right. doing things like that yeah. so I think that also inputs in the indoctrinating part in yeah. this section is it in explicit way or in an exp- implicit way do you think what happened in a joker I don't know I don't know what you think you don't know about that okay probably okay. it would be <laughs> yeah Well, some movies, uh, of course, every movies convey belief or uh, ideology, but some are portrayed in an implicit way and some are portrayed in an explicit way. And the indoctrinating movie is usually or normally uh, conveyed in an explicit way that's why you feel like you are dictated you feel like you are taught you feel like you are instructed but some movies actually teach you also convey messages yeah but in an implicit way and therefore you don't feel like you are indoctrinated yes mas okay yes ma'am thank you yeah Here we also have the visual elements of cinema give motion pictures a universal power of communication. Universal power, more universal power of communication compared to novel, for example. Yeah? 
more universal. It is more understood easily by people, although they don't understand the, you know, the language. The language means the utterances, because the, uh, you know, the acting, yeah? the acting. Uh, so sometimes you enjoy uh, silent movies. Do you sometimes enjoy silent movies? Yeah, there is no words. Yeah, there is no words. But you could, you could understand that. It's what so called universal, you know, power of communication. Yeah, that's why it is capable of, you know, uh, uh, you know, capable of understood by more uh, mass yeah, uh, uh, audiences. Okay, so why we do film analysis? Hello. Why we do film? Why we come here to talk about film analysis? Hello. May I, ma'am? Sure. Your name? My name Vincentius, ma'am. Vincentius. Okay. So I think film analysis help us to understand what we're watching and how it affect us. Mm -hmm. So when film analysis can add to the enjoyment of watching film from the blog what i read uh say that poor reaction to movies can represent poor understanding mm. so i think film analysis can open the opportunity to the same film in a different uh perspective man. right right because some i mean enjoying movies need skills right Although it's easy to understand, but enjoying movie in the fullest, in the fullest, need particular skill, right? And some audiences, you know, do not have those skills to enjoy in the fullest layer. Sampai penuh analisisnya itu. That's why film analysis, your product later on, you are learning how to analyze movies, right? Could help those kind of audiences to what so called have uh, literacy, movie literacy. Do you understand movie literacy? Literacy is capability not only just to read, but also to reflect and maybe to act later on because you are influenced by the movie. Suppose uh, there is a movie about gender equity, okay? gender equity, promotion to gender equity. To be able to achieve literacy, then you don't only need to understand the movie superficially, but also understand in the deepest, you know, a, a sense. That's why movie analysis is important because your project, the analysis will help the unskilled audiences in understanding the movie better so that gender equity is not only understand superficial but uh, uh, in a deeper sense and then they could do reflection and they could do action so maybe they will change their way of you know treating women or, or treating females okay so that's the aim of movie analysis so you will uh, help because you also offer when you analyze you also offer your perspective and maybe your perspective is unique right which is uh, different from other uh, audiences perspective and offering your perspective may enrich the audience's perspective other audiences perspective. beside that yeah because movie represent not only local, national, and transnational stories, then your analysis may help the audiences to have what so-called cultural literacy. UG, for example, if you could produce an analysis about Indonesian movie or vice versa, yeah, uh, Melanie could help uh, uh, you know or your audiences, your friends. Yeah, uh, analysis on Japanese movie. Then the Indonesian audiences could understand or could be 
culturally literate towards Japanese movie or in in the case of UG Indonesian movies or other movies okay so cultural literacy is very important as I always remind you also last week that you are not local citizen you are expected to be global citizen you also need to concern with other culture yeah uh, yeah, and uh, review movie analysis could help strengthening your literacy. Is this is the point of this uh, discussion? Okay. Tadi ya, yeah. full sense. Kalau cuma nonton, if you only talk about nonton for enjoyment, you don't need this fullest sense. Yeah, but to be able to fully understand. Yeah. Jadi kalau sampai fully understand itu kadang-kadang sometimes movie analysis is important so it, it's good to uh, uh, read other people's review so that oh this is what it means by this yeah. maybe you could help for example about the costume or the music uh, audiences might not pay attention on move on music or movie cameras when they enjoy it, but your analysis could help right Okay, so the study of cinema is important on a microcosmic. Microcosmic is smaller sense, yeah, and macrocosmic is the bigger sense, yeah. It allows you to explore the interconnectedness of your personal vision. So when you watch movie, you 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 try to digest the movie uh, in your personal vision, of course, yeah. And that, therefore, you will achieve your uh, personal understanding. But it's more than that, as well as processes by which cultures and nations are defined. As you see that every movie has its own character, uh, its own stories. It, uh, you know, it actually define, you know. Sebetulnya setiap movie itu membawa definition cultural definition of the people they are talking about, the story deals with, ya. Jadi itu sebenarnya, uh, uh, apa, misalnya ini, uh, uh, UG, uh, apa yang Geisha, Mas, UG, Japanese movie, yang menggunakan Geisha. Oh, sorry. What's the title of the movie, a Japanese movie? Uh, the story of Geisha. Apa, apa, ada yang ingat namanya? Geisha. 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 Judulnya apa? I have no idea. What's the title? Uh, why I, I forget this title? Memoirs of Geisha. Memoirs of Geisha. Do you know that movie, uh, Yuji? Memoirs of Geisha. Memoirs of Geisha. Yeah, no. you don't know that movie. Okay, you should watch that movie. <laughs> yeah. So the memoir of Geisha actually bring out definition, cultural definition of uh, how Japan, you know, see Geisha. Okay. So this uh, is very important for other uh, our people uh, from other countries to understand how they see geisha in their culture. So that's what uh, 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 explain here, yeah? By which cultures a nation are defined. Jadi sebetulnya dia uh, menceritakan, bagi, menceritakan juga conveying, ya, yeah? how uh, uh, Japan and geisha is defined throughout the movie. You cannot agree, but uh, this is uh, what it means by this. Yeah? Okay. So, yeah, here. Uh, again, yeah, we talk about in one side, films are popular art form and international industry, an influence ideological force and the source of considerable place. So, pleasure is not the only thing we deal with a uh, movie. It much more important than that is 
that movie is an influential ideological force. That's why the government and also people from, you know, uh, uh, activists, yeah, usually use movies to influence uh, their target audiences. Yeah? Movies about global warming actually uh, uh, become a very influential ideological force. Yeah? So it brings about the way they should put environment in their in their life. Yeah, how they should see and therefore treat environment. That's why movie is very uh, instrumental ideological force. It is not just pleasure. It is not just source of pleasure. Yeah, it is a very important ideological. That's what we have to uh, discuss later. Uh, in our discussion, in our uh, uh, next discussion. So studying films also gives an insight into psychology. Yeah, of course, yeah. You could, you know, understand uh, why particular character is frustrated or lost their mind, yeah, psychologically, yeah, and then culturally, uh, socially, politically, ideologically, and economically. Yeah? So more than just being an enjoyable uh, text, yeah? films is actually uh, an instrument of insight into these aspects, yeah? psychology, culture, society, politics, ideology, and economy. So it's bigger than just uh, uh, instrument of pleasure, okay? How to analyze fire? This is, uh, I will present uh, another PPT later about how to analyze movie, but for this, yeah, uh, I just want to introduce that there are kinds of analysis that you could use later, text-based or topic-based, more on the theme, yeah, or more on the text, yeah, uh, or more on the picture, on the visual images, or more on the psychoanalysis or more on the historical piece, yeah? More on the historical aspect. So you could choose or mix, yeah? You could choose one or mix one and the others, yeah? As an approach of your analysis. Later we will talk about it. And then the theories of movies that we could learn, yeah? We will learn some of it, not all, of course, it's too complicated, yeah? For all, yeah? If you want to create movie, maybe you have to learn all. But for the purpose of your analysis to be clearer, then we need to understand some uh, elements. Like, we need to understand types of genre, yeah? There are some types like, Realism or realistic genre, classical genre, and formalistic genre. Yeah, we will uh, we will uh, study at least these three, and then you will need to understand the shots. Yeah, the shot of films. When we learn cin cinematography, actually we learn about shots. Yeah, and then angles and lighting. Yeah, some lighting, uh, you know, brings uh, impacts. Yeah, to the audiences. Yeah. And then color, we don't talk about this because this is too microcosmic, -cos yeah? I think it's too, uh, uh, we will not go into the details, yeah? Sounds, yeah, some of uh, music, I think we will deal with that. And then editing, we will also learn some of it, yeah? The importance of editing and my song scene as a, uh, overall aspects of movie. What we, uh, we really, watch in the scene is what so-called my song scene, okay? So not all, but some of it, yeah? And uh, the last question uh, or topic is, what makes a great film, yeah? What do you think a great film is like, yeah? What makes a, a great film? This is probably too personal, yeah? Too personal to discuss. I think we will take uh, lots of time to discuss about this, but, Generally, people think a film is great because of what? Anyone would like to respond uh, to this? What makes a great film to you? Hi. Huh? Hello? <laughs> yes, please. May, may I answer? Yeah, sure. You too. I, I think the most important thing to make a good movie is 
choosing a topic. The topic so, is? The topic, the, mm. Mm, the most important thing. So the story know. itself, is that what you mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. For example, what impress you? What kind of topic impress you? For me, mm, maybe like fiction. Yes. Yeah. Which or, topic? Which topic? Like love topic or uh, grief topics? I like comedy, so maybe comedy. Love. You love comedy, okay? Yeah. Why comedy is great for you? Because it makes me laugh. Okay, uh, <laughs> all right. That's and good. I, can, I can like if I have something bad in my life, but if if see a comedy movie, I can forget it by laughing. Okay. Yeah. So all right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Yuji. Anybody else? Can I, ma'am? Sure. Mention your name, please, because I can't see your face. Oh, Sonia, yeah? Okay, Sonia. Um, I think what makes a movie great for me, ma'am, is like, uh, of course, the story is very important, but mm -hmm. at the same time, if they are not, um, they're not, they don't have cinema that's good mm -hmm. it's also mm -hmm. gonna make the story bad yeah, yeah, yeah. I, i've seen a few movies that that has a really good concept mm -hmm. a good story but at the same time because of the cinematography was really bad the yeah. camera angle and so on you didn't feel what the the characters feel you don't understand what's going on it's just right. A bundle of Im images, uh -huh. but it doesn't deliver anything. So okay. I think cinematography is also very important. Okay, so not only the story. The story is also basic ingredient and important, but it's not enough, yeah, The story only is not enough. 